All right, welcome to the last part of our uh, zombie health system and the zombie doing health uh, doing damage to us. And the last one, we looked at how to set up a do damage um, function uh, that other uh, objects could cast to and be able to talk to. And this time, we're going to kind of recreate this in our AI zombie very quickly um, because we already created it in the other one. Uh, let's make sure that we give the zombie a health value as well. Um, that this health value should also be an integer and let's go ahead compile this and then we can set the zombies uh, health value to 30 this is arbitrary you can check whatever you want I'm also going to create a new function uh, this function I'm also going to call do damage um, this will also have an input uh, so I can choose what its damage uh, damage amount is this damage amount should also be an integer um, so we've got that set up. All right. Now, uh, again, we'll come and get the value of the health. That health, I'm going to subtract uh, a value, so integer from an integer. The amount that we're going to subtract is whatever the damage amount is, and that will be set as the new health value um, here. Let's make sure and tie those up together right from the beginning. All right. Um, so then what we'll do is we will check to see if its health is below zero. If it is, then we'll go ahead and blow it up. So let's come in and make an if a branch. The thing that we want to check is let's go ahead and get the health amount. If that health amount is less than or equal, less than or equal to an integer, in this case zero, then this becomes true. If that's true, uh, then what we'll do is we'll spawn an emitter um, at the location that this is at, so let's uh, set that there. Uh, and the location we want it to uh, we want it to locate uh, be at the location of this zombie. Um, so I'm just going to get a world uh, location, and we can kind of use any of them. Uh, let's just go ahead and use the cube. It doesn't really matter which one uh, which one we use there. All right, so let's reorganize this for a second, just so it's a little bit easier to see. And then finally, after it spawned uh, the explosion, then let's make sure and destroy ourselves um, so that the cube um, goes away. All right. Um, so there's uh, the basic uh, health system. This is the exact same way uh, that we did it. Well, it's fairly close to the same way that we did it back with the uh, uh, with our first person character. Uh, so I'm going to compile and save that. Now the next thing that I want to do is the way that our first person character actually is fighting in this game is by firing a projectile. Now that projectile is its own blueprint and that blueprint we should be able to uh, make it do some damage for us. So uh, I'm going to double click on our first person projectile. We can see what it's built as. So the, uh, the built-in projectile, what it does is on event hit, when we've actually hit something, then it starts doing some other impulse, some physics kinds of things. Uh, for us, what we want to do is uh, set this up so that it, first of all, casts to the zombie and then talks to its do damage. Uh, so what I'm going to do is come to the other. This is the actor that it actually hits. I'm going to come and um, cast to, and then the name of my blueprint is AI Zombie. So I'll cast to AI, uh, let's see, Blueprint AI Zombie, um, so that I have that. As that particular zombie, as that particular blueprint, I can come in and talk to its do damage um, function. I do damage, it asks what the function amount it is. Let's uh, for now go ahead and just say 30, so it's one hit, one kill. And then after it does the damage, then it's going to uh, destroy itself. Um, by itself, I mean the actual uh, projectile. Now the last thing is, of course, I need to tell it when to do this, and this is going to um, actually do this work. Um, let's see, this we've got a branch that's setting up here. So here, if we want to make sure and keep this um, stuff here, I'm going to make a, a new sequence. Um, and in this sequence, I'll go ahead and tie this in here, I'll tie that in there, and I'll tie this down in there. All right, I could also get rid of this if I didn't want to have the projectile actually adding impulses or anything like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile that and save it. So now this projectile, when it hits something, it's going to go cast to the AI zombie, fire the do damage script inside of it, make sure that it passes to it uh, a value of 30, uh, and then destroy itself. By itself, I mean the, the projectile. All right, so 
uh, is if we start to play this game, um, then when I fire at something, then I can destroy it because it's uh, not going to do damage to me any longer. Uh, but if I let something get up to me and hit me, boom, then already, uh, well, the two of them behind me already got me, uh, and so they blew me up. Okay, so the last thing that would be left is to create a HUD um, for this, which is the topic of another tutorial. Thanks.